Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Sorry, I thought this book had a bookmark in it, but it doesn't, so I'm just very unprepared. Um, I wanted to talk about this book today, Love Your Lady Landscape um, by Lisa Lister. Um, I also have on my current wish list at the moment, but I don't own them yet, um, Code Red by Lisa Lister and also Witch. Now, I know that Hannah uh, on this channel and Laura have also read this book because it was both of them that recommended it to me. And oh my gosh, this book blew me away. Now, if you follow my personal channel, link is in the description bar, um, you may have heard me talking about this book. I feel like I just found this book in exactly the right time for me, which may be why I give this book such a fantastic rating because I freaking love it. But for me, um, <clears throat> I'm I'm 30 in on the 2nd of March, whether or not this post before then, I don't know, but I'm 30 on the 2nd of March. And I've been on contraceptive since I was 14 years old, used to have horrible periods and they out control periods. Um, and I've really been feeling this last year, before I read this book, uh, I knew that my contraceptive implant was, was due to come out at the end of this year and uh, or at the end of 2017 I'm filming this in 2017 it won't go live until 2018 um, and I I really didn't want to have it put back in. I really didn't want to have a new one put back in. I didn't want to be dealing with hormonal contraceptives anymore. I'd, I kind of had enough of that, um, but I wasn't really sure of my other options. And so that is something that I'd been looking into and researching throughout the majority of 2017. And then I still wasn't sure. I still wasn't sure if I wanted to trust in non-hormonal contraceptives purely because I never had. And then when I read this book, um, it just changed something in me. And I thought, yeah, no, no turning back. That's what I want to do. This book um, is not necessarily a spiritual or witchy book. It can be if you yourself are spiritual and witchy and want a connection with the goddess as the idea of, of a goddess archetype. If you, however, um, either have your own religious beliefs previous or um, you're not looking to make a religious or spiritual connection, what am I doing? My necklaces are all over the shop everything's going crazy right if you're um not looking for that say say you were a strict christian you can still very much use this book and it'd be very very valuable to you um the the most important thing i got from this book was the idea of connecting with your womb space and and your power center and really allowing your intuition to flow naturally from there and to follow those things um and it really has worked for me i was literally halfway through this book when i couldn't stand to wait anymore and i had to create myself a goddess altar because I just couldn't not um, and I didn't even really know what I was going to use my goddess altar for uh, but I've used it non-stop since setting it up it really has been that focal point of meditation for my womb space for my womb power that connection with goddess on a deeper level on a different level um, as a woman and there was just something very very special about that and it really has changed the way I view my power source and the way in which I go about things. Um, I also found it really really interesting because even though I'd studied some of the material in this book and like I said most of that I'd come to from, I, I don't mean studied the material in this book but studied topics that are discussed in this book previously, I had come to those generally from looking at hormonal contraceptives and the negative side of those and what they can do to you and that had brought me to this type of information. Um, but I'd never really looked at it from a positive side before, even though I try to be room happy and um, you know positive about moon time, I had never come to it from, from that perspective and I love the fact that you can channel your cycle and really work out for you 
what are the best days for you to be making big decisions? What are the best days for you within your cycle to be going to meetings and, and acting professional? What are the best days for you to be having deep and meaningful conversations with your partner? Or what are the days that you should be avoiding that altogether because you're more likely to have a shorter temper? Um, and and I, I found that to be amazing because even though it's common sense, I'd never thought about it. I'd never thought about the fact that as a woman, as a womb, um, I am constantly changing every single day of my cycle. And so I'm not the same person each day I wake up because my hormones are different. And that is just something that I feel I should have taken into consideration with my practice a long time ago and, and changed the outlook and changed the way in which I practice based on that. I just hadn't. And this book just blew me away. So it's called Love Your Lady Landscape, please solicitor. I would give this book an eight. I really, really love how it's written. Um, I feel like people would either love the style it's written in or really dislike it. I love it. Um, I think she she has a cheeky way of talking to women that make you feel part of the gang, that make you feel included. Um, there is no kind of elitist talk or anything. There's, there's often when when I have read stuff that has been regarding womanhood and the certain things that our bodies go through I feel like it can be the information can be put out there kind of like you're so stupid for not knowing <laughs> you know and most of us don't know because we weren't taught and we haven't taught ourselves because we're unaware that there is anything else to know um, and I mean I think I was probably about 23 24 around the age maybe just before I was 24 I know when it was it was just before I was 24 because I was dating a guy who I'm really hope he never watches this I was dating a guy at the time who didn't know what periods were he was older than me um and he thought that a period was your vagina cleaning itself out once a month and I was gobsmacked um, but then I realised that he didn't know because nobody had ever taught him. And I just sort of thought that's shocking. You know, this is a man in his 20s. He doesn't know what period is. Um, and, and so as I was explaining to him, he had questions and he started asking me questions that I didn't know the answers to. And that's when I started researching. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that this book is just a really, really good source of power um, in a sense because it helps you connect to your inner power so definitely a read for all of the ladies however I wouldn't say it's not a read for men now it is very much written for ladies I'm not gonna lie um, the author constantly refers to the readers as ladies it is a book for women but if you wanted to understand these things deeper as a man, you could definitely, definitely read this book and get an awful lot from it. So, like I said, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. I loved it. I really, 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 really want to read um, Code Red, I think. Surprisingly enough, no one's actually recommended Code Red. People have recommended the one that she wrote called Witch. I want to read Code Red just because I believe, um, it did say in this book, but I can't remember now, but I believe that that was the book that came directly before this one. So um, I'm quite excited to read that one. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read Witch too. So hopefully you will either see those uh, reviewed by me in the future or you may see what, them by the other girls because I know that... Um, I know Laura has the book Witch. I'm not sure about Hannah. Um, but yeah, so you may see it reviewed by somebody else. But Lisa Lister, very good author. Um, so do keep an eye out. If you see a book, if you see this book 
second hand somewhere snap it up i had to get it i as as i said i always buy my book second hand online i had to get this one um brand new it was 10.99 and it was worth the money i'm not gonna lie but i am cheap so if you can find it somewhere if you ever see this at a car boot sale or in a charity shop or something like that bloody get it like it's really 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 worth the money and worth your time reading it um so yeah i'll speak to you guys in a video soon bye